Here we have the HD ATC press brake machine. Uh, ATC stands for Automatic Tool Change System. The reason for the development of this machine is that over many, many years we've done a lot of customer studies. So we've gone and investigated their production process and the biggest downtime is normally at the press brake and the tooling setup. So one operator may finish one job, remove all the tools, find the next tools, load them in. Sometimes this can take 30, 40 minutes if it's a complicated setup. So it's a lot of time the machine isn't producing any parts or making any money. So we developed the ATC machine, which allows us to automatically change tools and dies. Uh, and it can go from one full setup to a completely new full setup in less than two minutes. And in this time, the operator can be finding the parts for the next job, load the program in. When he comes back to the machine, the new tools are ready. It's particularly useful for very complex setups or if the customer wants to run many parts with a single setup as well. So we would use our offline programming software to automatically create a setup that could maybe process five, six, seven different parts with one single setup. The ATC system has 15 uh, upper racks for the tooling, so for this style of tooling, and 18 lower racks for the dies. Okay, and this setup here, we're using what we call one-stroke tooling. So although the V size is different, the actual shut height is exactly the same on each tool, from the tip of the punch to the bottom of the V is exactly the same. So a customer could run many different parts with this type of tooling. It also has the BIS, inline angle measuring system. So if a customer wants to make sure their first off is correct, so they produce no scrap, they can activate this system and it will automatically check the angle as it folds it and correct it until it gets the right angle and then it will store this information. But it can be used on every fold or it can be used on every 10 parts as a quality check, for instance. So on the first part it checks, it turns itself off. After 10 parts, it turns itself on again just to check that the quality is still the same. And this is really useful if you're swapping between different batches of material. The thickness may change very slightly, but a very small change in thickness makes a bigger angle deviation. Uh, so this system will come into operation and it will check the part and make sure it's always the correct angle. The HD press brake, the HD stands for hybrid drive. And again, this fits in with Amada's eco philosophy. When the machine is not being used, for instance, when it's stood idle now, the drives are not running. They only actually get activated when you put the foot on the pedal. The drives will start, the machine will go into motion, and as soon as you stop folding, the drives will stop as well. So it drastically reduces the amount of power that the machine draws. Really, the people that buy this type of machine are those that do the smaller batch work, and they find that they're doing a lot of tool changing. They may find in an eight hour shift that maybe half of this is taken over by tool changing. By introducing this type of system on batches of maybe 100 or two, three, 400, it eliminates a lot of the tooling setup. So they may gain a three extra hours of production in one day, which for the payback of the machine makes it very simple to justify.